Just fixing my hair. Okay. All right, connectors, it's Denise Onifree, your relationship strategist. We are beginning to wrap up part two of the workbook, Connection Strategies for Every Relationship, which has been clarity to connect. So we worked on calm to connect at the beginning of the year. And now through this hot summer here in Denver, we have been working on clarity to connect. And this is getting us ready for parts three and four, which are the parts in which we turn toward another, whether it be family, business, intimate partner, siblings, uh, our children, um, and connect with them. But first we must calm, then we must have clarity before we can connect with others and have easier and more connected relationships. So in this episode, we're gonna discuss negative automatic thoughts. We all have them, we can be as, light, as enlightened as the next guy, and we are still battling sometimes our own negative automatic thoughts. This week we're gonna talk about what those are and how to begin to combat them. So I share in my blog my own personal negative automatic thought, which is a little heartbreaking um, and a little vulnerable to share with you, um, but I welcome you to head over to my blog and read about this more thoroughly. Uh, www.myrelationshipstrategist.com forward slash blog. You will see that there, as well as talking about the subject in more depth. So negative automatic thoughts are what pump through our blood, so to speak. They kind of pump through us. They alter what we hear. They alter our perceptions and they can alter our emotions, our moods and how we interact with others. And so it's important to be aware of what is pumping through us so that we can more easily turn towards others and not have our interactions with them um, be misconstrued by our own negative automatic thoughts. So here are a few and they're a little hard to hear. Uh, you'll get to see these in the blog as well. Um, so some common negative automatic thoughts. I am not worth it. I cannot speak up for myself. I cannot share my truest feelings. I cannot trust myself. I am not wanted. I cannot get what I want. I will not succeed. So the trick is to identify your negative automatic thought. And if you're not sure in how to get that answer, check out last week's episode. In, in, in that episode, we talk about how to tap into your own intuition and your own gut answers. And so the trick is to turn those into positives. So if you have a negative automatic belief that is, I am stupid, the positive version of that would be, I am wise and I am smart. And so the first uh, step, I may have said already a million times, identify it. And the second step is sort of identify uh, what the threat level is there. So if I was walking around in the world and I am constantly under threat of feeling stupid um, and triggering that negative automatic thought, where are the people, places, and things that I'm most likely triggered in that negative way? And where are those people, places, and things that will combat that negative automatic thought and more fully feed my positive one, which is I am wise and I am smart. Second, put it into use. Notice all of the opportunities that your negative automatic thought pops up and immediately replace it with the positive one. There's a little bit of mind trickery in that or just decide that you're gonna let it go. You may also remember from a previous episode, the effort bucket. So sometimes for me, when my negative automatic thought pops up, I just think, nope, putting it in the bucket. I'm not even gonna give that thought the time of day because it's not true. Um, I think that's about all that I will share with you in the video. Um, I think it's really important to identify it, talk back to it, put it in the bucket, if that's where it belongs and surround yourself with people, places and things where you can practice identifying where the positive automatic thought has some life too. So there you have it. I don't know what week we're on. I know it's hot as heck still here in Denver. Um, so check out next week, we'll be wrapping up clarity and moving on to part three and four for the rest of the year of the workbook where we'll uh, highlight and focus more on actual relationships 
with other people, not just the relationship with ourself. And then towards the end of the year, we'll be moving on to the sexy sex part of our intimate relationships. Have a great week. Bye.